Welcome to Community Ketchup. I said Yay! It first. <laughs> wow. Good job. Oh. Oh, yeah. And we're already peaking. <laughs> Woo! Welcome we're everybody. So excited. Episode who knows what because Travis never tells I me never what episode it. It is. We never keep track. Welcome to Community Ketchup. I am Pooch. I'm known as uh, Repcord on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the social medias. And I, me. I'm Heather. At DD Heather on all the social medias, D D H E D D E R, or hashtag 3D Pink Mafia. And if you're new to the show, welcome. Well, <laughs> Did you forget? I forgot this guy. Yeah. This guy. This, geez. Is, this is my channel, I remember this. Oh, all right. <laughs> Travis A Pirate well, Design. If you guys don't know who I am, then. This is your channel. Yeah, this is my channel. You should say. And uh, follow me. <laughs> a gratuitous plug for, a, for, for followers, for Travis. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Community Ketchup is the show where we, on a fortnightly basis, that's every... Two weeks. Two weeks, every 14, 14 days. days, however you want to break it down. Uh, we go through the tags that you, the community, send to us uh, of what is new and exciting in the world of making. We talk about a lot of 3D printing. We talk about a lot of... Other making techniques. Making. Lots but of lots making. Lots of making. You know, I still that's haven't kind of seen focus. any cooking segments, though. I need to see some cooking hashtags. It's, it's going to happen. I, somebody it's needs to do some it. Some unmaking, too. Some happen. people like destroying stuff. Destroying stuff? stuff? Oh, I cool. like it. The opposite? Anti-making? Yeah. Anti-making. I could get into that. I like it. I could okay. get into that. So, uh, tonight, you may have noticed we have a new face with us tonight. <laughs> and uh, we have uh, on the ketchup tonight, Mr. Daniel Barus. Of Slice Hello. Engineering. Would you mind introducing yourself to the good people? Hey, everybody. I'm Daniel Baruch from Slice Engineering. <laughs> yes, you were sure. <laughs> I almost said it better myself. <laughs> but you did. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what uh, Slice Engineering is all about. But if you're, if you're not, if you... Oranges? Too, and if you've been under a oranges. rock. Yeah, you oranges. Got cool orange you have oranges shirts. on your shirt. Well, we're going to get into where the slice came from. Oh. But uh, but before we do that, if you if you're not familiar, they are the brains behind the amazing mosquito hot end that we're gonna break out and we're gonna talk about here shortly. Yes. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> All right. All right. So what are we gonna find out about slice engineering tonight? So Daniel. Um, first question I have for you is, um, at what point did you know you could design a better hot end, hot end than the others that are out there? So, um, I will have to say unashamedly that, uh, Chris, my co-founder is, is the genius. Um, I am, Look at the uh, I'm also an engineer. <laughs> but... <laughs> so humble. I love it. <laughs> but, uh, he, he's, the. Uh, really the the major brains behind mosquito um i contributed but but he sort of came up with the original idea when he and i were working on a project together at work at a company a medical device company we used to work at and we basically had a problem i mean i think probably most inventions start with a problem right that you want to solve <laughs> mm -hmm. and in this particular situation we wanted to print something that was uh would survive we wanted to use an FDM printer to print something that would survive an autoclave cycle, which is like 121C without deforming at all. Oh, wow. And okay. be able to survive multiple times. And, and um, so we had to print like Peak or Ultim or PEI, something like that, that would survive in this medical device environment. And we couldn't find somebody that would do that for us without you know, paying a huge amount of money and buying an industrial printer. So Chris was like, hey, I'm going to figure out how to do this in my garage. And so we were spent a lot of nights in his garage. And then uh, after, it start, after the mosquito started working, we were like, holy crap, this is amazing. Let's actually do something with this. So and that's sort of how Mosquito was born. And so it was born. And maybe so people can see what we're talking about, can you go to the catchy cam really quick here for us? This, oh, wait a minute, where is are we it, aimed? Oh, is it locked up now? No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we'll restart the catchy cam. Well, while we're restarting the catchy cam, I would show it to the main cam, but it is literally this tiny. It's too tiny. It is, uh, there is a reason <laughs> they call it the mosquito, and this thing is a real work of art. So hopefully Travis gets that uh, tuned back up again, and here, we can get I'll a good close-up right of here on the internet. There you go. Oh, there That's you go. That's another Good way idea. to do it. I feel like um, getting the the 
the sense of scale we in didn't, your hand. We didn't bring a banana with us. I know. <laughs> but uh, you know, you could, it is it is really tiny. And this this particular one is the Magnum version, which is actually. Really a function of uh, the internals. Yeah, yeah. So we we one of the things that we didn't like about the current offerings on the market was that you had to buy a different size nozzle if you wanted to print faster, and um, we just didn't think that made a lot of sense. So how do you print faster without getting a different kind of nozzle instead of extending the heat break downward? Or excuse me, extending the melt zone downwards, extend it upwards. And because our heat break is so efficient and our heat sink is so efficient, and we're using the right materials in the right places, uh, put a lot of engineering design into this, we were able to do that. So the Magnum is literally exactly the same size as the Mosquito, but internally much, much different. And to give you guys a sense, Hold I'm on. going to come up with Real quick, sorry, they're yeah. saying the sound is cutting in and out. Well, that's not good. <clears throat> Are we clipping? Do, 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 do. I don't know. Uh, just gotta I have to sure. pay extra for sound, evidently. Yeah, that's what they said. They said do, do, do. Well, since they're getting this stream for free. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it doesn't always come with sound. <laughs> no. I wonder if that's a function of the stream itself, because our audio is sounding good here. It yeah, sounds like it's fine showing here. Up. Okay, so I, I think we got to keep going because. Yeah. Catchy cam's good. Catchy yeah. cam's good. Oh, good. All right, here we go. Maybe we got to aim it at something that, that's. Probably not my laptop. Here. All right, look at this. Okay, <laughs> this is what we've been talking about the mosquito. And you know what? I'm going to go this way so the lighting's a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, I didn't on it. be able to switch it all around. So you can so. see how this is in my monitor hand this is a real uh, work of art uh, and and Daniel how many different um, metals or materials are we talking going into this thing yes yeah, so we've got aircraft grade aluminum for the heat sink we've got uh, a unique copper alloy for the heat break uh, well the radiator on the heat break and the hot block right. so the hot block is actually also copper even though it's uh, it's a different color that's a nickel plating Okay. And um, that cop the copper alloy that we're using is uh, more thermally stable at high temperature, so it it, it maintains its um, its shape um, better at, at high temps, uh, especially with repeated heat cycles. Whereas like a standard copper is is eventually going to deform, um, things like that. So and then the the stainless steel the, the tubes that are that are in there in the heat break and then the standoffs between the hot block and the heat sink those are stainless steel stainless steel very nice and there's some nice laser etching happening here we've got our little mosquito and the slice and all that and then just as a point of comparison here's maybe your your competition or a common competition you might see and yeah. and how they've approached it using a larger uh, hot Hot end, uh, like you said, it ends up extending downward, so you got to change out your mound. You guys uh, did a really good job with this. This is awesome. Well, continuing on. So after you guys came up with idea for your own purposes, did you know right away that you wanted to start like selling these to the public, or was it something that you like were like we're um, yeah? Was it did you know you wanted to make this a business? We knew after we saw how well it worked. I think because um, at first it was just. That's smart. Let's we have this we have this project at work. Like, how do we solve the problem? Mm -hmm. And then once the problem was solved, we're like, actually, this is pretty freaking sweet. Let's let's try this out and just see where it goes, you know. And uh, so that that sort of started the the journey. Uh, yeah, and then we we did probably after after we got the first prototype to work, we did almost another full year of R and D work before we actually launched at Murph last year. Oh, okay. So I didn't know that was when you guys launched. So that nice. was a year on top yeah. of when you first did the prototype. So how, how long did it yeah. take to bring this to market in all? Uh, we did about 18 months of, of R&D and background work and like setting up the company and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. so it was 18 months. And was this all a, you know, uh, you had another job at the time and like a night, oh, yeah. nights and weekends type gig? All oh, nights and weekends, yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow. The chat says they're holding out for a titanium version. <laughs> Why titanium? I don't right. know. I don't think titanium. <laughs> the chat says the chat says we're holding out for titanium. They, they don't even know. <laughs> I know, right? They don't even know. Titanium might actually work okay for the for the standoffs. 
um because it's not a not a very not a super good conductor but for the hot block in the heat sink you don't really want titanium there right you know what? Don't don't think you're smarter than Daniel. People, okay, this guy's don't an think engineer. He hasn't I'm not really that smart. Already. Chris is super smart. Yeah, I just I just tag along. So what um the, what then is uh your your entrepreneurial background? Is this your first foray into business? Do you have other business experience? Uh, I this is my first working company. Let's put it that way. I've had I've had a few of uh, a few not a few things that didn't go very far. So. <laughs> As many uh, entrepreneurs do, right. part of the journey. Right, yeah, yeah. It, it seems to be a common, you know, common theme. But yeah, I've had I've had a few phenomenal flops uh, that didn't get nearly as far as this. So uh, I had uh, I, tried, <laughs> I tried my hand in in real estate actually with uh, oh, okay. again while working. All this was while working full time. Oh, wow. um, so I I had a an older like mentor, and he and I were doing some real estate stuff. It's kind of sad, but he actually passed away like oh. super suddenly, oh. and so that didn't go anywhere. Um, and then uh, a buddy of mine from college is—he's um, an aerospace engineer, and he's he's brilliant. And uh, actually, I had breakfast with him yesterday, which was great. But so he and I tried to start something, tried to start an airplane company actually, and uh, eventually we just realized we don't work well together. Like we're really good at hanging out and like being friends, but we, we don't work well together. And, um, so we ended up ending that and he's actually, uh, about to probably go raise some venture capital to, to start his airplane company a couple of years later. So you're like, and uh, he owns United now. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I'm really wow, you bummed. Got some, your hands in some some big things. That's uh, that's that's impressive. So that, that's a good story. That is good. Okay, a couple questions from the chat, really quick. First one was, are you looking at three millimeter releasing three millimeter? The number one question. The number one number question. one question. Yeah. Um. So we would actually really like to do that. So those of you that saw us at Murph. Uh, last year, we had some 285 or three millimeter right. um, prototypes that we built and brought to Murph, and you know they work great. But of course, machining costs are high, and and so we have to build at volume to to bring the cost down low enough to where it's even reasonable to to sell to people. So um, if we were able to get enough orders for 285 and there was enough interest, we would definitely build it. Do, do you guys currently, are you working on an interest list or do you have anything like that just to kind of gauge the demand? Um, so I did a survey probably six months ago um, that I just sent out to our, our listserv. Yeah. And I um, had like, I don't remember the number of people, but it was there were 14% of our listserv that responded, yes, I would buy a 285. And I was like, well, yeah. Yeah. at that point, it's not, it's not not enough yeah. but our list service is a lot bigger now than it was six months ago it's probably four times as big so um yeah and maybe at murph we'll we'll do like a a, a sign up you know an early sign up to see yeah uh, how many people would order uh two eight five well i mean such as the you know issue with being the lean mean small business you have to be smart right. about where you're putting yeah. your money and all that stuff i get that a lot of time about filament For sure yeah like you don't know, you know just the numbers five. just don't it's not add up is, when you're tying yeah. in like you you don't want to tie up money in a bunch of inventory so yeah. I right. and time and, and time, time too and time. you know yeah yeah time and yeah. energy I, I gotta imagine the thermals are a little bit different in the properties of handling more plastic all at once so yep yeah, yeah. 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 So, and then second question from the chat, probably the second most question that you get is, are you working towards, or what is the status on lowering the price potentially? Yeah. Like, but sure. again, I think that comes with the same kind of thing, being able to manufacture it. You know, if you're manufacturing at a certain level, it's going to cost a certain amount unless you greatly increase that level of right. production, I yeah. would assume. Volume, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It really does come down to volume. And, and another part of it is, is we're making this in the states, and we actually early on looked at at going to China and, and building it in China, and uh, right there, you know, Made yeah. So we we could have built it cheaper in China, right? But we wanted to build it in the states. That's just part of part of. I mean, I I, I have a manufacturing background, and and um, 
I think manufacturing jobs in this country are important. So, uh, so every time, so whoever bought has purchased <laughs> any mosquito product, you are supporting, supporting American manufacturing. So Yay. thank you. We appreciate <laughs> Good that. Good to you, sir. And I, I, unfortunately, that stuff it comes at a cost, but uh, I think it's I think it's an important one. Um, so good, good on you guys for doing that. And now they said they want unobtainium, <laughs> adamantium, adamantium <laughs> yeah. and now gold plated. Those are the three new. Why? All right, all right. Why are why people not? actually printing with these, or is it just bling? Like they just <laughs> like a diamond. We'll, 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 get, we'll get necklaces <laughs> for those, so you can exactly it's a status like symbol. <laughs> Like I like that. I'm just gonna wear this, the medallion, the mosquito medallion. That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah. This is, it's got a remarkable amount of heft to it for its size, though. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. there's some, there's some density. There. So I mean, I mean, that kind of leads me to how many people do you actually have working there? Because um, it seems it's. Pretty is it small. you and and your partner in it, the garage? It's me and Chris. That's it. It's me and Chris. <laughs> yeah. And then so, so <laughs> we. Uh, we we have a third partner that is uh, he's not working on it full time so he he but he helps with the the manufacturing. Oh so. okay, nice. Yeah. Are uh, are both of you guys? What's what's the family situation? Are both of you married? Or are you? Jeez, we are both married. Yep. So yeah, we are both but you married. know what? The reason I like to ask that is because it's always um, interesting to see how people handle the work life balance. I mean, you guys mm-hmm. have obviously been through it, and, right. and having the support of your significant other yeah, is, is key. I believe. Yeah, it's critical. If I'm not mistaken, was your was your wife not with you at Earth uh, last she year? She was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So my wife was at Earth. Uh, Chris couldn't make it to Earth due to other obligations, and and so my wife flew up there with me and and uh, helped me pack mosquitoes into boxes because actually we are. You know, things always run late, right? Just like uh, like us starting a couple of minutes late on the web stream. So, uh, so it's just it just what it is what it is. There's always something you didn't think of. So we actually got our we had run out of mosquitoes, and so we got the shipment shipped straight from the factory to Earth. Oh, so geez. I hadn't even seen them yet, and so we picked up the box, and the night before we were like. Holy crap, I hope these are okay. These, right? I, I know. Yeah. And so my wife and I spent several hours in the hotel room like packing mosquitoes into boxes, oh, into geez. bags and labeling things and like Did they yeah, all so include she, lollipops she's, she's... like these? These have lollipops oh, yeah. in them. Cut to the, cut to the <laughs> look at look at this packaging here. I already said I'm stealing one of the lollipops. Yeah, here. So you know, you got all these great little and it's so clean. I mean I love Prisha's all this. has got Haribo, you've you got know? lollipops, we've got lifesavers. Yep. Yeah. We got it. We got Apparently, it. it's a requirement. It's a requirement. If you're going to get gotta into this industry, you got to have some candy. Oh, yeah. there you go. very nice. Very Try, nice. You want a sucker? Mystery cream I'm flavor? I'm scared. <laughs> That's what she said. Mystery. Mm, interesting, oh. name. Mystery, interesting naming choice. Jeez. So I'll tell you a funny story about the lollipops, actually. So, so we, you, of course, you got to buy stuff in bulk, right? So we, we ordered um, twelve thousand lollipops. <laughs> We thought it was going to be a box of 600. Oh, it ended up being a box of 6,000. Oh, so we have, we have the so delivery driver shows up, and he's like, I have a pallet of <gasps> lollipops. And we're like, what? Oh. And, uh, yeah, so, so, so we have a pallet of lollipops. A pallet of lollipops. A I can only pallet? imagine what that I looks know, like. That's a lot. Yeah. You mean, oh, you're sure how much uh, 6,000 of something is. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't seem like that much, but you know, it's even you in got, you got people things. in the chat. They're they saying didn't they didn't get lollipops. Get lollipops. <laughs> is that a, is this a new thing? It is a new thing. Yeah, it is a new thing. And they're saying, is it only when they order directly from you? So if they order the Through mosquito a from a reseller, they're not going to get lollipops. Uh, so it. So here's another thing with, with running a lean <laughs> business is we are constantly changing things, and um, so familiar. so picky. It does sound familiar. Yeah. So if you. You want a lollipop? Come see us at, at Merck. We'll there you go. Lollipop. Yes, one of the 6,000. Just come on out to Goshen. <laughs> come it's to not Goshen, too far to go a, for a lollipop. Get a no. mystery yeah. cream lollipop. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, so so the packaging that, that you're showing there is, is relatively the new, and, and so are the lollipops. And, and uh, so as as we cycle through inventory, all the resellers will, will be having this as well. You know we're just razzing you, right? Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. I'm totally fine with that. Totally fine with that. Bring yeah. it on. This is the price of early adoption, people. <laughs> right, it's what happens. Sometimes you miss out on it's a lollipop, but I 
pretty sure people aren't buying it for the low. They, hopefully mm -hmm. not. No. Okay, so <laughs> so one more question from the chat right now. We've got any plans for a mixing style extruder? What does that mean? Mixer extruder. Wow. Mixing That's style. like a multi like a filament. MMU inside. No, it's extruder? even different than that. It's like many come in and yeah. then it oh, blends it all that's together. That's a lot. That's a We got two of those okay. questions. Any That that, that is a fascinating question that is classified. <laughs> oh, oh, dang. You got the classified. Sorry, guys. Somebody okay. in the chat knew something. Yeah, I know. Like, dang, right? They're adding. throwing you under the bus. I, I like so, it. I like highly, highly classified things. So you mentioned that you have an engineering background. Did you. How did that play into all of this? And where did you get your education and all that good stuff? So I went to the University of Florida. Go Gators. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, we've got some Floridians. Oh, uh, the orange connection yeah. is starting to become apparent. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, so I got my engineering degree there. Mechanical engineering is, is my background. And uh, I, what was the rest of the question? What did I do with that? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> You're like, I don't Here know. I am. Well, because you already said that Chris is the brains. So. Yeah, he, he is the brains. He what, is the brains. What would you say um, you do here? Okay. Right. What do I do here? Um, so, I mean, I, I mostly honestly work on, on the business side now, but but my background is is technology transfer. So taking um, medical device products from the lab, from prototyping stage, and moving it into manufacturing. Uh, so getting it from you know we can build ten to we can build ten thousand. So that that's that's my background. That's what I all right do okay, on, okay. A, on a daily basis. You've redeemed yourself as part of this company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a respectable pedigree. It is, it is. I think so. Well, listen, we know you're a busy guy, so I got one more question for you. I'm hoping you might might field yeah. for us if you wouldn't mind. Does that sound good? Yeah, we do that's one good. More? Yeah, one yeah. More. Uh, so I, I'd like to know, so in looking at this, what, what is it that, that if you're going to sum it all up for everybody, what is it that makes the Mosquito so special? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's, there's a, I don't know if I can put it into one thing, but I can your, put it into a We need your elevator pitch yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, elevator maybe pitch, better yeah. asked is, what, you know, this retails for about, uh, what is it, 169, 170? Yep, yep. Okay, so so yeah. why is it worth that? Right, so um, a huge part of it is the more efficient heat break. So the reason we can make it so small and so lightweight is more efficient heat break. So you're getting less thermal transfer from the hot block into your heat sink, which is why our heat sink is so small, uh, why the whole thing can be so small. A nice benefit that comes of that from that is the ability to do a cold one-handed nozzle swap. So if you have different hot ends for different nozzles, um, now you only need one hot end, which is which is nice. Uh, so those are, those are the sort of the like right off the top um, main selling points. Uh, we are using higher quality materials. It's probably never going to break. Um, I, I, I probably, challenge you. He's going on record. Probably, 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 probably never hey, going to break. Hey, it's one of yeah, those I mean, Maybe that didn't sound super dominant. It's been so long the, enough. The, <laughs> the ones that you packed with your wife at Earth, those are going to break. We, we, <laughs> we all find a way to break it. <laughs> we've, people try to break them. Oh, don't uh, do that. And, and so if you try to break it, you can probably, probably find a it. way but they, with a hammer or something. But the reality is it's engineered to be super, super strong and reliable and durable. Um, you can crash it. Uh, your printer is not going to break it. Let's put it that way. You can you okay. can crash it gotcha. and 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 not break it. But um, yeah, if you take a hammer to it, I'm sure you could you could do some damage. I mean, the machining um, on this thing is just amazing. I mean, I've been looking at this, and so you're talking about you guys have just a totally different design in terms of how you handle the heat sinking, um, and the, the you know physical size. Um, Man, it's just something to see. It's really a work of art. It's like bling for your printer. It is. Yeah. And they said, <laughs> and they said, it works well. They said you should use all the rejects and just gold plate those, like any that didn't pass quality oh, okay. assurance. Oh, okay. didn't make gold it. Gold plate those. <laughs> are you, and are you sell dealing them with a lot chains. of rejects? Are there a lot of rejects? That's a, that's a good oh question. no, not a lot of rejects, oh, that's thankfully. Good. That's good. Although at the beginning there were. At the beginning there were a ton of rejects. Then they'll be coveted. Thankfully, It'll be a big deal. Not so much now. And, and is yeah. that is that something you're able to you know reuse like you know so it's not working are you able to like repurpose some of the parts to assemble or is it just back to the drawing board? Uh, so it depends. So obviously you know it's comp composed of multiple parts. So you know 
a lot. If uh, if we have a good heat sink, but the hot block didn't turn out great, you know, we'll still use the heat sink, but um, and vice versa. Nice. Gotcha. Well, there's yeah. one last question from the chat, and it and it pertains to you and our sponsor. They want to know if you've put any of the sweet, sweet Canadian PLA through it. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our sponsor tonight That's is a... filaments.ca <laughs> from Canada. We're and about to transition so we're into We're going to transition yeah. into them. Yeah. So anyway, but no, we appreciate you coming on is the it, show. Is a Canadian filament approved, Dan? Is it? It is Canadian filament approved. Fantastic. I have not personally put any of it through there, but I guarantee you some of our customers <laughs> have. Well, okay. You know what? We'll get to this in a second, but they, they sent us some, and when they I did. get this set up, the, one of the other things I want to tease really quick is um, uh, Daniel and I are working together. Uh, Slice has been really uh, gracious to sponsor two, two big projects that are coming up that I'm really excited about. One involves our good friends over at G-Create, who you saw last week. We're taking uh, the traveling Joel Max and we're going to put this mosquito magnet nice. on Nice. That's going to be awesome. And so when we do, we're going to run some sweet, sweet Canadian PLA through it do and it. see what it does. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Uh, so that's awesome. And then for those of you that are coming to Murph, obviously come and say hi to Daniel and myself and my booth. Uh, we're going to be assembling one of the rail core um, machines. And if you haven't seen that, check Joel's channel. It is the mother of all kit printers. <sighs> uh, and it's going to have one of a these mosquito on it, right? on it as well which uh, I'm really excited about because the, the level of detail you get on that printer, that's a really high-end printer. Nice. It's a, awesome. Woo -woo. So Can't we wait. thank you so much for sponsoring those things. We thank you so much for yes. being with us tonight. Thank you for hanging Absolutely. out with Thanks us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Round of applause, for everybody, me. for Yay. Daniel Brewer. Hey. Daniel, thank you for staying up late with us. I know you're an coaster and we appreciate it. <laughs> uh, enjoy your time, and we look forward to seeing you soon, bud. Catch you at, All right. at Thanks, Murph, guys. not sooner. Bye. Right. Thank Bye. you. Later. What a, Yay. what a great guy. Awesome. What a great I, guy. I love that, Dan. He's a great guy. Well, you already teased it, but da -da, tonight, the ketchup is sponsored by none other than filaments.ca. Our good friends PLA. from the Great White North. Yes, they're PLA. And they're actually uh, now selling the Canadian Maker PLA. So it's 100% made and manufactured uh. in Canada. And so if you are a Canadian or non Canadian, uh, 3D printing person, you should definitely check them out at filaments.ca. Yes, and so we'll be doing a giveaway from them we later. We do, yes. So please hang around if a you want to be part of that. A of their Canadian Maker PLA. Ooh. Matte black. It's very cool. Oh, it's they a matte black. Yeah, that's what they sent us. So we'll have to, we haven't gotten a chance to try it out. We just mm. got it in the mail. Matte but. filaments are so hot right now. I know. Man, it's I'm like the car it. paint that's matte. That's like a thing now. Now did you say okay? Did, now did they send us some of that, or you said because I saw they sent us a little care package earlier. Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of samples, a bunch of different color samples, and then they sent us a full spool of the matte it, black. It's not in here. It's not in here. Okay. It's upstairs. We should have brought it. You could go run and get it. Okay. Okay. At, at, at intermission. At intermission. Yeah. Um, yes. So thank Woo! you. Yes. So much Filaments CA for sponsoring us. We'll Heck talk yes. a little bit more about them. We've got a lot of Canadians in the chat. Yeah, there Dan's is. jumping in in the chat. We got Eddie. We got. We. I'm seeing a lot. Mike is a Canadian. James is a Canadian. Do we need him? Jordan to... is a Canadian. Yeah. Hey, if you're a Canadian in the chat, give me an A. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say hey, hashtag hey. Canada, but okay, go with hey, A. Hey. <laughs> or a sorry. Ozer. <laughs> Oh, Curtis says Matt is very hot. It's is so it like, hot right is it now. that's hot? Like, Paris now, do, you, do you run Matt any hotter, do you think? I, I don't know. We'll have to look. It says the temp. Yeah. We're, we're lame. We didn't bring it down. Well, I thought you didn't have the mat yet because we're mailing that direct, right? No, we have some. That's what oh, they sent us. Oh, the sample. The samples. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. yeah that's the what they sent itself. us. Woo, everyone's excited. Oh. All right. Well, with that said, why don't we jump into the main show? No. Oh. We have some follow ups. Follow-ups. Follow -ups. Before the main show. Follow-ups. Follow -ups. We, need we don't some, have like, a follow-up yeah, song. Follow-up jingle. <laughs> Let's, Let's all go, go to the follow-ups. <laughs> Let's all go to the follow-ups. It's follow-up time. Okay, so. Ooh, sorry. Jeez. Can I'm we so turn loud. that compression up a little I know. bit more on Heather? Do I need to speak a little bit louder? A little bit okay. more softer now. <laughs> a little bit softer now. Okay, so last fortnight... We talked about our new catch. Was that last Fortnite? Was that two yeah, Fortnites ago? Yeah, Wexter did yeah. our catchy. Wexter did our catchy. Yeah. And so we have had so many catchy so friends. Many oh, friends. they're so great. Let's show Let's some catchies. Let's show, show some oh, of them. Oh, oh wrong thing. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. there's one.
just hanging out there. I know. He was. Different. He said he's catching a ride. I like let's it. Just, let's scroll through a few of these. Some of these are pretty. pretty yeah, awesome. that, so this that's, is that's an alien some, ooze. Yeah, some alien ooze nice, catchy. So nice. the, green, the green ketchup. The green ketchup. The green ooze ketchup. Yep. I love it. The green ketchup. Okay, what else we got? There's like a bunch. There's a bunch. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Can't open those I'm sorry. Can't that, open those oh, links this is Keith Space, enough. and I think I can't remember what kind of filament oh, this is. It's got a, a bit of a sheen. So, oh to yeah, it. Quantum 3D Crimson PLA. He, look, he looks good in all the he colors. He does, right? Wexter did just such a good oh, job. Oh, there's so many You know what's funny ones. is like when I when I approached him, I said, "Hey, we're really looking for a mascot." You know, he's like, "What would you have in mind?" And I'm like. Oh, you know, we're kind of thinking maybe like the old Clippy <laughs> from from Office, and he, he he goes, "Oh no, I'm not doing that." He's like, "I got a much better idea," and I'm so glad he he took the bull by the horns there. Nice. Uh, wait, where's the? Where oh no, that's the just... yeah, that's the most recent one. You're, uh, you're wait, on no, right the, there. You're on. Oh, the you're on the catchy screen. cam. Oh yeah, there he is. There we the, go. The googly the eyes. The googly eyes is awesome. <laughs> oh man, I love all the catchies we got. Wait, where was that last one that show. Chris Freeze did? I gotta show that one off. That one was really good. I don't think it's on there. Oh, oh the these mini, are the mini ones. The baby catchies. They're so tiny. It's a little baby, baby catchies. catchies. Here, I'll just look them up. Was that, was that actually was that purple K's and, and some uh, It looked paint? like it, huh? I don't know if it was for sure, but I was yeah. like, oh, these are so cool. They're so tiny. Oh, yeah, yeah this go. is dual color. Oh, there's an there's MMU three. version there's... already? Well, it's not MMU, but it's like... He split oh, it up. He split it up. Even I the wonder cap. if he, he might have just parted it. The cap is a different color, too. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's got a oh. white cap there. Nice. Oh, I is didn't Chris know. When the, you were showing Chris me that, chat? I didn't think that was actually printed. I thought that was just a yeah, render. No, no, no. It's a three-parter. Oh, very nice. Is Chris in the chat tonight? I don't know if he is mm -hmm. or not. Uh, I'd be curious to know if he printed that in three parts. Or yeah, or if the, if the, if the coin is separate. Well, yeah, I don't, and unless he MMU'd it, I don't know how no, he would do I, that. I doubt I, that. It looks like it's uh, it just like, like a sliced part. But yeah, I like, nice. Man, people love that alien ooze, too. No, I know. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a hot, it's a hot cool, filament. It's a hot ketchup. filament, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can really tell he's really taken off like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> But so I needed to be a color, a red coming out the bottom, and then the. You don't like the green ketchup, huh? Mm, it creeps me out. Remember uh, purple ketchup? Somebody uh, talked I've, about that. I've tried to block it. Oh, Ooh, so Jordan's saying that Chris offered to throw us, or offered to mail that to us, and it is three parts. He split it up in ZBrush. Yes, yes, Chris, mail it to us, please. Heck yeah. We would like it. We will. That would be we will proudly display oh, it. That was a different one. That was the ketchup bottle. Well, it is catchy anyway. We don't have him. Where is he at? Mm. He's not up here. Uh, I, don't know I think where he went. Got, yeah. He might be upstairs. He might be upstairs. <laughs> by I the meant, printers. I meant to print another big one. I know we're gonna print a big to... one for the catchy cam. We just didn't. We're working on our printers right now. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm. Um. I'll put it. I'll queue him up on the G Max. Oh yeah. We'll good plan. A, we'll do a big one. Good plan. Okay. So we have two other follow-ups really quick. One was Packy has been working on his robots. His uh, oh, mystery science MS theater robots, robots, right? Yep. Wait, oh. can I get the names right again? Tom yeah. Servo. Oh, I don't know any of them. Okay. Oh, Tom Servo. And, and something crow. And then. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it again. Tom, Tom, no, Tom Servo. Something, something crow. Yeah, if you haven't been following this stuff, just go check out. I his. love, I love these. Yeah, go check out his. Oh yes, so so his cool. Twitter in general, just yeah. like all kinds of stuff about the. I wonder what his, his end goal is for, like, you know, because he just keeps adding to these, I right? want him to film Mystery Science Theater. Like, eventually, yeah, he's like going to release his own Mystery Science Heck Theater. Heck, yes. That, that, was, that would be amazing. Right. Okay, it's Look says Tom Servo hand. and Crow T. Robot. Crow T. Robot. Yeah. Crow T. Robot. Look it! I want to go to his house. <laughs> <laughs> what, wasn't there... There's a third guy, though, isn't there? Gypsy. Gypsy. So he is. is that he right? must be. Maybe he's working maybe, on Gypsy. Maybe I think. Next. Yeah, he's working on Gypsy right now. And there he's with a Roomba. Oh, is that he? That's the mouth because he put he put him on Roomba. Yeah. He put him on Roombas, right? Yeah. So they move around. Ew, 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 DJ Roomba. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. <laughs> and then our last follow up was. Oh, Tanya had done a flower um, for Valentine's Day, yeah. and she finished up the instructable for that. So there's links nice, to that Tanya. in there. Um, Dan had tagged that one. Oh, there we go. It's almost, it's not a Voronai, but it looks almost like kind of, huh? But the center it. is different. Yeah. The no, center, it's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. It's better. It's oh, better I didn't notice Voronai. that they're hearts. Yeah, I didn't notice that, that, yeah, that the petals actually is were hearts. Right? Voronai? 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 I think it's Voronai. Potato, potato. <laughs> they said we should have mystery science theater ketchup. Yeah. 
I think that's so. what we need. That would be amazing. It's just something taunting us, like, like real time. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Dang it. Okay. Yeah. So now we've got a minute in my makerspace clip. Oh, we got yeah. So we got a couple of this. A couple of, yeah. We got a couple of this Fortnite. Um, Whoa. Minute in my makerspace. <laughs> Insert awesome graphics here. <laughs> Hello, makers. Oh. Uh, I thought since all the cool kids are doing it, I would also show you my makerspace. Which is a complete all the cool kids. All the cool kids. disaster right now. <laughs> That's everybody. I am changing from yeah. this, this is actually nasty clean. green yeah. and poor layout over to making a new, lovelier. Oh, it's gray. Oh. And there's going to be a big giant right. table to work on. All, all right. right. I'm seeing snacks. Snacks. Drink. Oh. Screws. Got everything all you need. need. <laughs> Essentials. Check. No, you didn't say who that was, though. Uh, I believe that one was Jordan's. Yeah, Jordan's. yeah that was Jordan's. Okay. You could, you could hear the Canadian. <laughs> now, was the green for a green screen effect at some point, you think? And he's going over that with gray? Uh, well, uh, or it was just a terrible color really that like somebody gray. else picked. That he's, you know. <laughs> right. What's amazing is, you know, you move into a house or any place and, it, you know, you see some of these colors and you think, you know, somebody somewhere liked that color and picked <laughs> it at one point. Thought it was awesome. Maybe you know, maybe there was a time, and I really tastes are different. Uh, tastes are different. Uh, Heather is not a fan of the green, but hey, never fair. It's gonna go. Jordan, it's awesome. We look forward to seeing yes. the follow up as the space progresses. space changes. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do. Are we gonna do another? We're gonna do another one of those later. We've got a couple. We're gonna sprinkle we'll them spring, in the show. Sprinkle them in. Sprinkle Little them dash in the of show. minimum maker space. Yeah, yeah. Sprinkle minute here, them in. Minute there. All right. All right. Okay. So Sorry. then, huh? Can I say yeah, it? No. Can I say it? Can you I can do it. Now? Do it. Do it. Oh, we're gone. Uh, that was the mute button. Oh, you <laughs> muted like us. They probably do button. like that. No. <laughs> the main <laughs> show. The main show. Oh, Jordan said that was the previous owner's pain color, not his. Yeah, see? Always, <laughs> even if it was yours, just always blame just it on the previous owner. Just be like, owner. oh, the previous owner sucked. They thought yeah. that was such a great idea. Yeah. Um, Okay, hold on one second. You guys. You have me do all the, the main one. show, and then we're not even ready for the main show. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We, okay. Those are some awesome follow ups, though. I mean, like, with follow ups like this and stuff, how are we ever even going to get to a main show? I know, okay, we're good. So, the first thing is you. Oh! Fancy that. I make the mm. I make the document. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's because, no, it's because this was Valentine's that's, Day. That's not fishy at all. <laughs> Shut we up. are not being influenced. <laughs> Whatsoever. It's not about my print, about my filament. It's about Tanya's design. Look at that. Shush. It's almost like a like a Celtic knot. Yeah, style. isn't that cool? So this was a design that she did for Valentine's Day. Why are we clipping so much? This was a design she did for Valentine's Day. You can find it on my mini factory. Check it out. MMF. Go Tanya. Boss pink if you have some. <laughs> that was looks, Travis. That not looks me. good. It's looking good. Nice work, Tanya. They said the main pre-show. <laughs> The key is the hang time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so next we've got Mr. Butram shared Ooh, Matt cool. from uh, State Farms Mr. Butram, Game Butram. of Thrones emblem. Probably. That looks awesome. What? I love the colors on that. Isn't Black that crazy? Red is Dude, that good. red is Black insane, red is, yeah, too. What so red is right that? Now. Does it say? That would look sweet with some... Uh, some candy. Oh, it's candy apple some red. Matte, yeah, some matte black. Matte black. Some of I that think filament it is, it is matte, matte black. black. It is. But it's Paramount 3D matte black. No, we used... We'd we like to see some, some filament CA. CA. And he's got the dragon in front of him. I know. That. Isn't that cool? Man, solid That's work. Some nice prints right there. Now, wait, wait, hold on. Was this Mr. Bertram that shared it, or is it he is his? No, uh, it's uh, Matt. It, Jake oh, from it's State Jake Farm. from State Farm. Nice. I know. Nice work, Jake. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. And yes, ladies, he really signal. Cool. I saw, him, he saw him, he had a tweet like that the other day. Did he <laughs> signal? Single. Oh, you said signal. He signaled. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No. Anyway, next we've got. Uh, BV3D sharing Inspire 3D's first contact print. And everyone's favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look That's at such it. Good images, too. Right? <laughs> it's so cool. Actually, so you know what? Good. This is Sean. Sean did this photo for him. <laughs> yeah, that's Sean's grubby <laughs> hand. <laughs> it's all. ET, Travis, do it. Oh, do ET. ET. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, you cut to the main camera. Creepy. At least. Look at that. You can still see. Creepy. Yeah. 
I know that one's cool. So that is the stones from, or that's the crystals from Spider Man. Or Spider Man. Really Superman. Shine Superman. That Superman. Much? It looks like it's just like blind. It does. It's solitude. It, actually, you'll see another couple prints that we have, and it is like that. Yeah, it's, it's got a, It's got a good sheen to it. The uh, uh, the translucent mix is coming out of IC3D. It's uh, crazy, dude. Amazing. I know. Travis was just printing with ours. I thought, like, you gotta print it hotter. <laughs> yeah. He loves it hot. Hot loves it hot. It does. And what's I don't know if it's the same for the alien, but like I've noticed, like the it, it will its sheen shifts like a little bit with temperature. Yeah, oh yeah, scene. it does big time. And then even like the amount of infill and stuff like will change mm -hmm. its its uh, optical properties yeah, for sure. quite a bit. It's really cool. All right, next we've got, this is one of our Canadian uh, tags. This is Terry sharing 3D printed campers. Printed camper. This is a Canadian local company. So this thing's actually mobile? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's made wow. with a huge 3D printer. Yeah, it's so similar to like the houses right. that we've so seen. Is it using like a cement style? I think so, oh, yeah. Man. But then all the furniture and everything is too, and then they just added padding to it. Piece of cake. I know, I isn't know it, it so cool? Shows it printing huh. Oh, I don't. I didn't watch, I didn't the, watch whole the whole thing to see either. if it did, did, showed it actually printing. Yeah, I don't think it, it does. Look like it, no. I mean, that's a. Isn't that's, that so cool though? That's a trip. I don't know how I'd feel about my printed object just bumping down the freeway though. Oh, that's <laughs> true. I didn't even think about that. But yeah. I mean, it looks pretty. I mean, the layer adhesion looks pretty solid there. I don't know. I'm guessing it's been stuccoed over or something. It looks like. Oh, it's I got don't some think so. There's some sort of finish to that. But that's how that. it looks on the inside, too. Well, you think they would have stuccoed on the inside? More more details. Oh, here we Not go. Not on the it's, inside. It was Terry like is half, saying but... he sells them for $30,000. Canadian? Canadian? Yeah, <laughs> Canadian. I know. Oh, yes. By, by the way, shout out to James, who, after we made our You're Getting the Stream for Free comment, gave us what he said was five Canadian dollars or 15 U.S. cents. <laughs> 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 couple loonies, couple toonies. I love it. Oh, Terry says he's it's a huge nozzle. He's seen it thank print you, in person. Yes, thanks, James. If you can if you have a video of that, uh, yeah, I'd love get to us, see that. Get us a video. They use 3D gloop. <laughs> I don't think they use gloop. It's gloop oh, to get that'd, that'd be a fantastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay, next one. This one is awesome too. So many good ones this week. For twenty it's Fortnite. I know. So this is um, Alkish One made, you know, our cool ornament that we showed last time. These, or a couple episodes ago, these are some Murph badge tags yeah. that he's created. Awesome. Aren't these so cool? Yeah. Look at your record one. I know. I, I, this is, who needs, like, marketing teams when you've Dude, got people right? that just do it for you? And look at it. It's like the little box Isn't with the awesome? filament on it. Yeah. That's cool. I need one of those. Can you get me one of those? I might know a guy. You might know a guy. <laughs> I, I'm loving Matter Hackers uh, and the Hack Pasta. All the things. No, we have tacos. Oh, we have tacos. Look at that. I do like that one too. And then Proto I, I'm confused though. Is he? They, they seem to be like Proto Pasta col collaborations. No, I think those are in the back. Or are they just laid it's underneath? Like laid on top. Okay. Yeah, I think they're just laid underneath. Okay, so it's Matter Hackers has the tacos, Proto Pasta, Murph High Fives, just yeah, generic they sit High Fives, and the IC3D one, mm -hmm. extruding open source. That one's. Man, look at all the colors. All over know. Murph. That's hilarious. Get Murph High Fives. These are awesome. Oh, these Good are job, so cool. One. I know. Alkish, you need to sell those ones. Get glued. I like them. All right. Next, we've got Sean sharing Chelsea's earrings from CCT Designs. These are very cool. So Chelsea's going to be opening up her Etsy store here very, very soon. She's nailing down her packaging. And Ooh. she was showing these earrings off that she put CCT together. CCT designs. Dude, aren't those insane? Those yeah, are so those cool are looking. Crazy designs. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Aren't those? That's just so freaking cool. What so these are, are made laser, These are laser cut wood. And then she has stained them. And then it added like some accoutrements, like extra little things. But... Excellent use of accoutrement. I know. I like <laughs> so, so these are just wood cut and burned and then stained blue. Aren't those cool? Uh, super cool. Yeah. So, and uh, Will Birdie told me CCT Designs is going to be um, is going to be sponsoring in a couple weeks. Ooh. So keep an eye out for that and for her the opening of her Etsy store. Now, are they only for pierced ears? She might be able to work something out for you for some <laughs> clip-ons. Clip <laughs> You want some clip-ons? Or, you know, for my... Maybe a pendant. You have to wear yeah. them the entire time. She is going to have pendants, <laughs> though. Necklaces as well. So could she'll she have like sets. Could, like, could she do a brooch? But you have a gal pal. She probably could. A brooch? But a you have a gal a pal who a would probably like them. Yeah. Okay. 
You're not wearing them. How about that? Do you want a hat tassel? A keychain? A hat, a hat tassel? I don't know. Is that a thing? <laughs> Do you want it to Did be like a tooth tassel? thing? Oh, yeah. That's what I want. I want my grill done by Chelsea. Grills by Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea. Yeah. CCT. Wow. CCT. <laughs> Teefs. CCT. You heard it here. Patent pending. Oh, my gosh. Chelsea's going to kill we'll you both. CCT. CCT. <laughs> okay. It's, that's solid right there. <laughs> we'll work up the business plan. Oh my god. It's so, oh, they said you should have a nose ring. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all questioning what a Ella at Dazzle is. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a thing. You totally made that up. I, mean, I think I'm thinking of. Are you thinking of a fez or a mortarboard like a graduate has? That I would be a ta that is a tassel. See, that is a, a tassel a on tassel. a mortarboard <laughs> is a <laughs> tassel. <laughs> For your gra for the graduate in your life, oh. CCT designs. <laughs> now they're saying that for your belly button piercing. Yeah. Right, so you. <laughs> It'll look good on my yeah. Okay, Chelsea. So you've got lots of ideas <laughs> of new products that you can come out with. Yeah. Okay. Good times. Okay. So next we've got a skewed view sharing. Oh, I should have put this in the follow-ups. So last time we talked about his house right, model. We finally finished oh. up with this house Let's let model. him tell us. <laughs> at least the little one. We've got the shingle designs done on the roof. Oh, yeah, look at the so shingle. much better now. Yeah, it does. Oh, I that. thought that was like the infill. That's no, no, no. actual He's shingle. got some shingle so. design. Nice job on that, Sean. Oh, it looked like the Joker's hideout. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Joker had a house. This could be it. Joker hideout. That's awesome. You gotta get a little Joker in there. <laughs> Where is it? Got it locked oh, out it comes all hard. It's so serious. What? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's pretty sweet. That is that sweet. That is sweet. Right now. I can what see. I can see. I'd be curious to to know what. I mean, obviously, when you're dealing with thin wall and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. there's some some design. Uh, constraints and stuff so it's i gotta imagine he put a lot of hours into that well, also to get the hipped roof like that I, I don't know he must have supported it i, I didn't see what the uh, if it's like trust underneath or if it yeah, just it really show that. Yeah. yeah but i didn't know that that was actually two stories that came apart that's so cool and no. i think he's actually now selling these or the option for these um to be you know to have him print he, your your he house or whatever yeah, and that'd be fancy yeah that's so cool it's, I, I, did it say is it a scale model? Is yeah, it's, I think that's the, his house. Oh, that's, that's his scale house. Scale of his house. Oh, mm -hmm. that's awesome. He lives in a Joker palace. He does. <laughs> <laughs> he has a green roof. They're saying that the largest room in the house is the maker's space. Get these wonderful toys. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. All right. Oh. Ba, ba, ba. Time for another minute in your maker space. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I have a bunch of that stuff. We have so much of it. Yeah, shut up, I'm trying to grow through this. <laughs> 1,000 speed. Still slow. Oh my god, that looks like a good way to get carpal tunnel. <laughs> I know, he said it takes forever. Oh. to be showing off the bottle contraption at at Murph. Uh, at a, at, no, oh, no, at, at Mary Bayer Maker, Maker Fair. Fair. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's what he was saying. Uh, it's I can I can vouch I saw some renders. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. You're going to you're going to cool. want to follow what that is. Ooh, sausage. Oh, another one from Chelsea. This is Dos Mia shared Squirrel. Chelsea's meat cake. Meat cakes, this baby. This is cake. 
Did you know that? Let them cake? eat sausage that, cake. Yeah, and I want to say. Chelsea, Wait, Das Mia made that? No, no, Chelsea, Chelsea made, made that. that. Das Mia Chelsea. shared it. But Chelsea so, hold on. is the, the knife whole, and, yes, the oh, and the board is cutting cake board too. is cake too. <laughs> She's the a whole wizard thing with fun. Is <laughs> Isn't that insane? Like, how did she get the wood grain? That's what I want. Is that air just airbrushed? Chelsea, where are you? That's it's a Chelsea trade secret right there. I think there. it is. CCT Designs. It's a secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. That's the theme. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure if it makes me hungry for cake or I, sausage. Or steak. Well, have you seen the, the leg one that she made? That was all oh, it was like we a severed leg. It was so <laughs> gross. I would. Was it, was it, so uh, gross. It wasn't a it was Deadpool. Like Deadpool. It was like hand. a Deadpool no, hand. No, it was way worse than that because it was like a... Yeah, it was gross. She said the whole thing is cake. That's Ooh, crazy. The entire what thing. What kind of cake? Yeah, what kind of is cake it is in there? Oh, she hand <laughs> inside of the meat cake. Yeah, funfetti and meat cake. That's I guess my it's kind red of velvet. Right. It's pepperoni. She said it's hand painted. The whole thing. pepperoni in the cake. Oh, in the cake. That's Put disgusting. Put it in the cake. Disgusting. Nice, Chelsea. All right. Next week. Hand got painted. Hand painted grain. Wood grain. The meat is not a lie. Whoa. Ooh, we were about to jam the there. The meat is not a lie. They said. Ooh, hold on now. Hold on. I got it. Oh. I got you, I got you. That oh, yeah. is cool. That's a first um, shit menu. This should have been a minute in my makerspace. Uh, okay, so this is Neil. This is a truck. What? Yes. It comes. It's just, it's just it's transformed cool? right off of the frame bed. <laughs> right? <laughs> It transforms straight from the print bed. Straight from the print bed. No, that was some editing magic. No. Back it up. Dude, that's ridiculous. Back it up. Right? That's no. There's no way. No, it's you can watch off. it when it's printing. You can see all the parts printing. Skippity skippity skippity. I know. Look, see all the bits inside. So I see the bits. This is sitting there. Look. Yeah, but see, yeah. Okay. So just... He didn't go. It wouldn't go straight to transform, but still. It does. It does. I'll, I'll bet you, I'll bet you five loonies, five loonies. that uh, he he did a little like making sure it worked before he. Go to the link. It literally says straight off the bed. I call right there. I call shenanigans. One hundred percent. It's hey, look, I don't. Whatever. I don't want to discount Whatever. it. It's freaking cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's super cool. It's way cooler than anything I've been doing. Yeah, look, even the bottom, you can see the wheels printing on it. it it's um, insane. It reminds me of like a Tanner 3D design. Yeah. You know those trucks truck that, he that he does. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's me. what I thought it was originally. No. Yeah. No, I get it now. That's awesome. Oh, I the wonder, tires aren't he... on it when it prints. He says. Yeah. Did he reverse engineer it from an actual transformer? Dude, right. I don't know. It's insane to me. It's not wise to, to try to reverse engineer a transformer. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, you... yeah, that's pretty nuts. Insane. All right, next one is also from Terry. He shared Jordan. Is it is it Terry? Base. It's it Terry, is. right? Uh-huh. I didn't know how you pronounced that. Not theory. Well, in theory. <laughs> theory. No, that's your theory. Shush. <laughs> this is Jordan's heart base. Now, Jordan, did you design this? Look at all for Valentine's Day. It's on, we'll click the My Mini Factory link. Oh, I think it is. I think it is this. Heart Flute by Jordan. Oh, very nice. Uh, Mad Monkey. Very cool. I love it. So go check out that. Nice work. Support Jordan. Is that, uh, is that filaments.ca? Did it say? Mm. Could be. Jordan, is that filaments.ca filament? Could be. Doesn't say. Filaments.ca. Oh, this, the, uh, .ca yeah. is tagged. So. Woo, woo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, probably then. Very nice. That's a very nice rig. That's a nice color. In theory, it's Terry. That's what they said. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get no, out of it. Uh, terrible joke. Okay. Oh, I liked it. <laughs> Next, we've got Sean sharing the new practical printing logo. Woo! Or actually, I don't, it's not the logo. Oh, it's the shirt going design. On. It's like, yeah, man. No, but he had some printed. I don't have the links for those. I know. I haven't gotten looked, mine yet for some reason. Did you order one? Did you one? not get yours yet? We didn't order one. Not oh, yet. You, oh, they're not just, they don't just show, you have to order? <laughs> they don't just show up. Oh, the last but, one I had just showed but up. But I will tell you that all the proceeds for this shirt go to Sean. Art Mods. They do? Shenanigans. Because mm -hmm. he did the design. Because he did the design. Oh. So it's to help him expand his makerspace. Well, that's a good cause. And, wait a minute, let me. And. And. Hold on one second. Keep going. There's a cat here. 
I know. She's really hungry. It's, she doesn't want those turkey bits she left there? <laughs> Hi, kitty. I have to run to the store after the show to get the kitty some food. Hold on. Maybe she wants one of these slice engineering lollipops. She does not want kitty, that. Kitty, kitty, kitty. She no. doesn't want that. Okay, look, I just put cats, it in the... Cats love lollipops. Not cream mystery flavor. I'm eating no, Travis's because he, he lost his chance. I don't know if I want to eat not cream. He Kay. lost his chance. You're eating it? Mystery well, cream. You're eating, eating mine? Yeah, he's eating mine. This, this oh, is going to okay. be a long show, I can I tell. Okay. Like you want to share? Like we can share. Ew. No. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Okay, so okay. show this one, and then we'll show Sean's art that he just sent us. Okay. So this is Matt. This is a chore wheel. We need one of these. <laughs> this is good. For you art. need this too. Yeah. Peachy, don't. You're gonna kill the feed. Stop. Watch out for the wires. <laughs> That's Daisy. That's Daisy. They all look the same to me. I know, huh? Okay. So do you have a chore wheel for your kids? I need one. Dude, same Z's. Same Z's. Same Z's. Same same. We need one too. Ari has a chore chart, but I think she needs a chore wheel. Does she do any of the chores? She, every day. I love it. Because there's money involved. There's money involved. <laughs> what kind of money? What kind of chores up, are you talking up about? Up to I'm $5 getting... dollars a week. Oh. Right? Seems like more than... What is that in Canadian dollars? Uh, uh, 50 cents. No, $150. <laughs> Other way. $150? That's a lot. I don't know. Oh, they're saying they're waiting on their shirts for larger sizes to become available. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Share it's cold. There, but I'm not gonna share with you. you clicked on the wrong thing. I thought it was for that. Oh, I thought you were talking about a you shirt. I'm like, it. I thought you guys were gonna share a shirt. That would be interesting. No, that link right there. Just the link that doesn't have That's a. Gross. The link that doesn't have that. a thingy on it. These are good, Dan. These good are choice. good. Good choice. No, I don't like it. I don't know. Cream you don't flavor. like the title of it, Which but one? it's a good. It's a creamy. Up. No. Up one more. You oh, know, on the. Right I there. think we need to have a secondary channel that we do like candy, candy reviews. reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the tweet that Pocon put with all the, the various the Haribo the candies? Haribos? Yes. Mm. It was insane. Okay, so look at this. Oh, we're more fun together. Sliced up ketchup. Wait, except for it says to gather. Does he realize that? Maybe that's on purpose. Sean, did you mean that? To gather, not together? It's like a gathering. To gather? It could be. Like we're catching up? Okay, thanks for catching up. Oh, so nice. Anyways, he just did that art for us. That's Thanks, Sean. Very interesting. It, it seems very Shel Silverstein esque. I like it. No. I want it on a shirt. Anybody, you guys ever see the Shel Silverstein stuff? Like where yeah, the sidewalk is? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. It's a black dot it's art. Like, got it. Yeah. Point okay. lies. Okay, so, oh, yes, play this. Oh, this is ridiculous. Do you guys see he this? He did say it is on purpose, Sean said. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Sean knows about words. I know. He's a smart I'm just guy. just saying. Okay. He's saying it's a pun. The merge cube. Okay, no, play the video. That's the second thing on there. So, see the cube. You guys see the cube, right? I can I don't, see, I don't the, see a cube. I, I can see. see a, oh, you don't see the cube. Oh, it's don't like one of those things. Click the video. This is ridiculous. Look what at it. What the heck is going on right here? That's the cube. Oh, it's an AR. Oh, uh, yeah, it's an AR cube. What? Make it bigger. Make it bigger. You make it bigger. Make it bigger. I make it bigger. Unless I click on this. Ah! Right? Isn't that ridiculous? How does that work? Well, the, it's a, on the um, like you put your phone up. To okay, it I get that. The but software decodes like the, yeah, the like edges the of the, on the pattern oh, on the it. edges of the box. Oh, it's a game. Yeah. Oh, get it. Eat the sushi. <gasps> That's so cool. Nom 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 oh, nom 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 cool. nom. We need nom, one of those. Nom 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 nom. I need that. I love it. Is oh, it, look, it's does fireworks. Does it actually have the app so you can download it? And I would assume so. Hopefully. Ooh. Oh, you can't get your hand in the way too much. Well, Watch okay, duh. They don't. That's dangerous. That's so cool. Ooh. Travis, I want one of those. What is that? It's like Sim City. It's cool. I don't care. You like poke the cars. It's cool. You don't care. It's cool. I want it. It's amazing. Um. Tweety bird. Terry said that he posted this on Twitter. It's so neat in person. How does Terry? How is Terry seeing all this? Cool Terry's stuff? like everywhere. Dude, is it Canada? <laughs> we need to move to Canada. You just apparently Terry just gets around. I, apparently. Uh, so cool. Oh, TV. Oh, okay. That's too cool. To be fair, though, the vast majority of the people live in, like, the smallest area of Canada. Like, they're more condensed. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah. Still. So maybe it's easier to get to I guess. more Canadian makers. Okay, what's this one? Oh, Jordan shared print of base model. Oh! So this is... I, I couldn't tell... Jordan, this is your model, right? Hmm. Isn't that cool? It looks like a basket. Probably not good people like him. I know you're smack slur yeah, you're slurping. That's why I stopped. Sorry. Wrong, wrong podcast. That's our other channel. The My bad. A S R A S M. Let's talk about this vase. Do you, but doesn't that look like a basket? It looks like wicker or something. Kind, I think that's Jordan's of. design. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, kind of the way the layer lines uh, create a texture to it, maybe make it look a little wicker y. Very cool. Oh, it is cool. Show it, so. Oh, Travis. That was a bet, my bad. They're just watching us stare at a screen. Like that. Yeah. Terry's the Canadian Mr. Boutroom. <laughs> okay, what's next? What's next? The Canadian Mr. Boutroom. Oh, that this is, is the most cool obscure too. reference I've ever. Heard. I know, right? Like nobody would that understand. That means nothing what that to is. anybody <laughs> except for the 57 people on our stream. And even okay, that. Okay, so watch this. Is this a mouse trap? No, a it's not trap. at all. At all. Why am I scared? What is that? Okay, you probably need to speed up, go forward a little bit. Is that Terry? No, that's not oh, Terry. Well, he's but Terry's everywhere. probably seen this. He's probably been there. He probably has. Terry, what, what was that like in person? Okay, bro? look at that. Is this a... That is the, the centrifugal force. Push it, to, twist that thing around that then... Causes it to print. Causes it to print pottery. With no What? There's no electricity. <laughs> It's, is it wind Wait, powered? It, no, it's yeah. It's a pendulum yeah, powered. It's like a pendulum. Yeah. Um, yes, please. That's no, it's so gotta cool. be. There's gotta be. It's got veins. That's gotta be a partial wind power. See, it's got a multiple sources of energy here. Okay, but none of Potential. them are electricity. Uh, no, and in that's, the that's classical awesome. sense. <gasps> oh, look. look at all the pots he's I made. Oh, so cool. I bet this is in Canada. You think that's Canadian? Yeah. Too? Yeah, I do. Why? Why do you think everything's because, Canadian? Because oh, it's first world's first analog three D printer. Analog, baby. Go <laughs> analog. <laughs> so postmodern. Wow. Oh, you're gonna freak out in the next one. You're gonna freak out. I can't even tell you how many tags of this we got. Oh, this is freaking <laughs> amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty sweet. Dude, ridiculous this number of tags This was probably the, for num this. the number one tag thing this week. Yeah. This Fortnite? Yes. I want, I want to print this and yeah. put lights in. Now, what, I, what I was curious about, it's just like a site. It's not a specific reference to anything, right? It's just kind of a I mean, futuristic. Yeah, just like any sci-fi, like Star Wars. It's like an ion drive. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. So can you do that? Can you do it? Can I print it? Yeah. You could, if, if any of his printers worked. It, yeah. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so do you think that's two separate things? Is it blue in the middle and then black on the outside? Or is it just... It's probably just got a blue light. It's a little it. light in the inside. Uh, yeah. I don't think the black filament would, re would reflect that blue light like that. I think it does some interesting stuff. Maybe. It's like kind of grayish. Who knows? <laughs> I, I also, don't... no power. Yeah. <laughs> also, it was made with wind power? <laughs> no. Oh. oh, we've got some new people here. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Welcome to the community catch-up oh, stream. More from if you Jake. haven't been here before. Oh, but look. Matt, shameless Jake from, plug. I'm confused. Is his name Matt or Jake? <laughs> it's Matt. His, oh, it's the cat. It's the cat. And the that's cat his heart. Veroni boss pink heart. Is that a Tanya design? No. I think it's just a thing of just a Vor device. Veroni. Yeah. Yeah. They're very, uh, and cats then he, are very he made it. it for his <laughs> cat, but he I think he put a toy in it. We'll have to ask him if it... Cats Matt, did the cat actually like it? Did you put catnip in it? He was like, get me out of here. He's <laughs> like, wow, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they said that the inside of the lamp is painted and it's a Philips Hue light inside. Oh, this nice. is why we have the community. Yeah. To answer all the things that we don't So many read. questions. <laughs> so many oh, questions. Ooh, we, an egg. You know there's something good going to happen here. This is the Tinker's egg. Oh, I didn't oh, know now that was music. Great, now we're demonetized. I know, we're demonetized. <laughs> Is that Maker Newman's egg? It's Maker Newman's egg. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's the egghead, right? He has to have an egghead. He's the egghead. Uh, <laughs> that was great. Thank you for demonetizing us, Tinker. <laughs> I'm sure we already did. Oh, my goodness Putting gracious. Putting the boss in Boss Pink. Oh, okay, so Except this... Except for it wasn't Boss Pink. It was. I think that was uh, some high five blue, wasn't it? And, a, and electric... A yellow. No, lemonade. Electric well, the, lemonade. The egg was, but the, the noob. Oh, was, yeah, high five blue. Oh, this. Dude, isn't is this insane? Epic. Hold on. Yeah. Epic. This is ridiculous. Did you see this one? Epic. Did you see this one? Epic. Did you see this you get an epic one. No, I haven't. Epic, I'm cool. sure it was. I, you know how much on, I love wait, these. Wait, 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 wait. You can't see it yet. Let me put it on the big Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Cover your it's eyes. A, it's a blindfold pooch okay, no, and then no, get no, the no, reaction. Pooch reacts. What's happening? It's printing. It's changing colors. Isn't as that it, ridiculous? What's going on? Well, it's just <laughs> transitional filament. Transitional filament, I think, but isn't that ridiculous? UV reactive? It's, it's, it's like heat, heat active. Heat, no, it's heat not. Reactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. 
That's why when you print it, it's hot. Oh, it's a temperature reaction. Oh, I didn't Watch know that. It's so it weird. It with the heat. Yeah. I just thought the what? model was cool. <laughs> Whoa. Foxy. Nine tail fox. Why nine? I don't know. It's like a Pokemon thing. Oh. No, is it? Is it like? I don't know what it is. It's just a weird, creepy thing. Ten. Freaking awesome. Ten tail fox. Ooh. And backwards. Jeez. Wow, look at that. Hair dryer. Cool. It's like it the it's green. like the hyper color of filament. <laughs> I, I need some of Dude, that. Dude, did you know that that company went under? I'm not surprised. They I haven't seen bankrupt. any hypercolor stuff in like 30 they years. Totally went bankrupt recently. I, I had a hypercolor. I wore that thing into the ground. <laughs> I, like I watched so many times, it just didn't even work anymore. Recently, they've been around that not long still. Mm -hmm. From Naturo. Mm. I don't know what that Naruto, is. Naruto, sorry. Count the tails. I think that's a um, nine. Oh, anime. oh, anime. Okay. Oh, they said Noob was printed in Blue Wonder. Oh, Blue Wonder. Okay. Not. Um... Oh man, that. Fox thing was insane. Yeah, that's pretty freaking awesome. Oh, this was yours, Pooch. This was metal oh, this printing next. Je Jeff Slater. No, this is yours. Oh, I thought it was this is your on. tag from Digital oh, Alloys. Oh, 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 oh. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. Okay, I look, look, at, look at this. Don't tell me. look at it. It hurts my eyeballs. What do you mean, don't you look at it? How do you eyeballs? not look it's at it? Filmed. It just get, get hurts a, my eyeballs. We need to get her a welding mask. <laughs> it still hurts my eyeballs. This is real time. It says right there real time. <laughs> Jewel printing titanium. You know what, Daniel? I love you, man, but this, the mosquito can't do that. Isn't that titanium, ridiculous? baby? It's titanium. Now what? Yeah, that I just. It's just you know just throwing together some titanium real quick. Yeah, real quick. Is that gonna print anything other than a tall square tower? tower? Yeah. Yeah. What? As long as it's uh, uh, electro conducted. I don't know. The guy responded to my my tweet. Um, he, they're just. They're just doing that as a demo piece, but you know the idea is the same. It's uh, it probably can't go that fast. Yeah. If, yeah. if it's a different model, but that's um, that's some pretty impressive speed for especially for metal printing. And like I said on my tweet, I would not want to see what the electricity bill is. Yeah, so. right. Brian <laughs> Brian says his wife still has a hypercolor shirt. It doesn't work anymore. Of but course, she it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody bring back hypercolor. That's the challenge. They that just could be went our, under. They literally just that can be filed under. bankruptcy. Does that mean that it's it's available it's for purchase? Open? I guess I don't know. <gasps> this is, is the one I was the telling you about. The Travis. patent must be up on it by I'm now. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. It's just not popular anymore. No. Maybe, maybe rollerblading so is gonna make a comeback too. Rollerblading <laughs> in a hypercolor shirt? No, it has to be a hypercolor like muscle man tank there top. Like oh, okay. Anyways, anyways, I got like a V-neck because <laughs> of this. I'd rather be good so my CCT piercing is gonna be showing. Here's CC Teefs. So, so my CC Teefs? <laughs> my, oh my, my gosh, my belly so ring. terrible. Okay, I was telling Travis this about this one on the drive home. This is... How does that work? I Holy don't smooth. understand. I'm so confused. I would explain it to you, but it's just really complicated <laughs> it's science. Too much. It's just too much. You have no idea. Because you have no idea. It's because they're, uh, they're doing it in the poly... The, the polisher. Poly, polisher, yeah, that's what it is. No, I don't think it is. Why not? It's poly smooth. Why would they not be? No, it's just it's called no. poly smooth. It's no, because look at that whole thing is three D printed. It's superior it's not optical multi, clarity it's printed not, on a three D desktop machine. I see machine. that, but that is not I mean, multi pieces. I don't think it is multi pieces. You think it is? Yes, you think that about, dome is just, separate? It's the dome. Yeah, that's what they're okay, printing but, with the poly smooth, the transparent. Yeah, but then is that then put through the polisher? I would think so. I mean, it's poly smooth. Dude, that is ridiculous. It just it's, says that's, magic. That's um. It says they're going to share more information. What wizardry is this? Later. Yeah, that is Later. total. Is it secret? Like secret. what Brandon Langdon does? All his secrets? Right, all his secret things. All the secrecy. Yeah, everyone's saying that's too th too clear to be possible. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine it with the, the polisher, you know, smoothing it out. It would probably be pretty awesome. We got a lot of people calling shenanigans in here. Mm-hmm. It's filled with oil. They explained it to Joel, says Jordan. They explained it says, how it Joel works. Joel have a video on it? I haven't seen that. Overly smooth poly So smooth. because it's filled with oil, is that what keeps it clear? I mean, that would definitely make Why it. would that keep it clear? I mean, it's just going to fill in the print lines from the inside. But still, I would imagine that it's smoothed on the outside, too. Oh, filled with poly water? Chelsea's yeah. saying they got theirs really clear. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know. That's, that's really neat. clear. I would. Yeah. I feel like that's been touched up a little, but it's still pretty sweet. 
Who knows? I don't know. I want to get, I wanna get it in my hands. Artobotic says he has samples of it. He needs to mess with it. Well, yeah, you, you got, do. I think you we guys have, have it upstairs. You guys have a polisher. Shh. <laughs> we haven't set it up because we're so lame. Do I need? Do you need to give it to me? I'll set it up. We have two. We have two. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. You, you don't have any of that though. That stuff just came out. We do have that. I, we don't, no, we don't the, have the, the clear. glass. We don't have that. Or, or what do we have? Natural. No, I don't think the kind that we uh, have is different. actually it's, clear. Anyway, we should ask them and maybe they'll let us print some and maybe they'd sponsor. Yeah, maybe. We got their stuff. Okay, so this I did There's not. There's the Joker again. He needs to go I in Sholm's house. He does need to go in Sholm's house. Now the thing about this, Matt, is this multi. This is not. MMU, right? I think right? that's painted. No, it's uh, not. Look at all the colors. Nepal, yes. So is that all pieces Enhance. and somebody's Enhance. gluing that crap together? Because that's way too much for me. I can't. Uh, I just don't have the patience to glue all that together. Uh, well, like the the hair's definitely printed. Really I feel like it's a well combo print. of print. <laughs> no, I think paint. it's. I think what it's does it say? Print. What does this say? It doesn't say anything. Where's Mr. Bertram? No, Bertram it's Bertram not. It's Matt's. Say hi to a boss. Yeah, but he shared it. It's Matt Jake from State Farms. Yeah, it's Matt Jake from State Farms. Marvelous 240. But isn't it? Isn't that um, Wexter's model? Uh, yes. But I want to know. He's saying it's separate parts. You sat and glued all that separate, like the lips and the teeth. That is a pain. I told you, he's single, ladies. Whew. The teeth look like super <laughs> white. Right? And then the buttons, like the buttons are separate from the tie. Matt, you got a lot of time on your hands, buddy. He glooped it. It's glooped. It's five. How is it Gloop. only five there parts it is. printed? Gloop. Say one, two, three, four, five. Well, it's it's more than five parts. Six. It's five colors. No, it says it's five parts printed. Oh, then painted. Okay, then so paint. he, oh. mm, shush. <laughs> you just have to read. He says it says. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to read it. <laughs> If you read, oh, reading. If you read, reading. It's so overrated. Reading is so twentieth century, guys. <laughs> okay, do this one. This one's mine. Oh, it's for Valentine's Day. It's alien heart hands. I love this. Printed in alien ooze. You don't believe me. Oh, it's like new age ET. If ET was made now, they wouldn't touch fingers. They would make heart hands. You think so? Uh, yeah. I remember one hundred percent. More um, sanitary. Yeah. He did a little video for this. I don't it's like part. a fist bump, like Howie Mandel. He won't touch people. No, he he did a a lapse. Yeah. Yeah, he did a time lapse. It's Octo very hard lapse. Because he he tweets so whoa, much. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, there's so our ketchup that we didn't see tweeting. apparently. Hey, oh, there was our filament. Oh, that's somebody else's that ordered it. He retweeted it though. Very nice. All right, I'm not gonna say. Yeah, that's sketchy. Words are hard. <laughs> Words are hard. are hard. Oh, okay. This is one that you're super excited about, Pooch. The White Knight. Yeah, I am super excited about this. That's an understatement. I still haven't even seen this. You, you haven't? I was on a hangout with him over the weekend, for like two hours, looking at this thing. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. <clears throat> construction of not just one, but two bell printers. Yep. It's true. So Midnight Giant has this one now. Oh, he does. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm not. I'm not going to spoil any of this stuff because this is not my story to tell. This is all Carl. But um, there, the plan is there will be two of these at Murph. Uh, it will be something to be seen. I will you tell are you. You're going to steal one. <laughs> yeah, you're going to put it in your luggage. Snay on the <laughs> <Let's do it. laughs> You did say last fortnight that you wanted the build tax sheet for it. You were hitting up Kayla, I saying, "Can I up, get one?" I did. I did hit up Kayla, and I we had some conversations about belt technology. It yeah. was very good. Maybe we'll talk about it. You know, she she says she wants to come up. I know and next be week, on the next show. fortnight, right? No, she can't do that one. But oh. we're gonna have her up. She's gonna be like our first live in studio guest, I think. Oh, I'm sad. So for her. hey, it's on record now, Kayla. Yep, you're on you the hook. Come. <laughs> um, okay, so next we've got, oh, so Alkish One got this, uh, well, I didn't, you saw this, I didn't see this. Yeah, he was just uh, sending a thank you to Snow Labs for donating this printer to um, school a couple months ago, and it says one of the sixth grade science teachers. Tra Travis is reading those word things. I am reading. <laughs> it's way too much for us. <laughs> has been printing wheels um, for a student-centered uh, uh, STEAM. STEAM. Yeah, STEAM, not STEM. STEAM yeah. That's because uh, there's art, art involved, yeah. too. Yeah. Design an egg car that will survive a crash. I love it. So cool. I love how people are still tagging Community Ketchup like during the show. It's because I the, get the show is awesome. What is all that? 
That's all the different eggs. Oh, it's <laughs> like, what is that nonsense? And they're using all the sweet oh, yeah, so they to, were doing a yeah. car. They're making a car, right? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, so the egg couldn't survive a crash. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. They're that's calling what, you out. All, that's what all the words they said. said. Doesn't Pooch already own a belt printer? <laughs> I do Tinkers. own. I do own the printer. <laughs> Meaning I don't you currently have, have it. The printer. Right, 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 right. Um, okay, next we've got. Oh, this was Dan. He three D printed some. Uh, I think these are rubber band guns. I didn't see exact. They're little guns, but I'm assuming they're rubber band guns for his son's <laughs> Valentine's. Tiny ones. Yes, and so he he was printing them all in lovely pink for Valentine's it's got a Day. Got spring on it. Yeah, so it's a rubber band gun, don't yeah, you think? That's what it looks like. Yeah. I want so to see it shoot. So who's the, the teacher that got that? That allowed that, right? <laughs> I know. I was like, man. oh, Ari school would never put up with that. I'd never do that. Maybe he lives in Canada, too. That's okay there. <laughs> don't even go there. Rubber bands? <laughs> yeah, rubber band guns. Rubber bands are okay. Um, one says, all but four eggs survived. 30 of 30 teams. Nice. Pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. All right. Oh, this one's cute. Original BFG, Brandon Langdon, shared mosaics. Year of the pig chopstick holder. So you know it's Year of the pig. Oh. And this I was a little multi, now I do. multimedia print. Oh, it's so cute. something new every catch up. Okay, but still. <laughs> it's still cool looking. Who took that picture? Mosaic, apparently. Yeah. Let's go to the thing. We'll work, on the, work, on the re- work on the resolution. <laughs> is it going to be better, though? It is. It oh, is. it is. Oh, look, that's so cute. Huh. I'm terrible with chopsticks. Can you use chopsticks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can use chopsticks. I'm lame. You can't use chopsticks? Mm-mm. Huh. Fork, please. Um, and then we have one more in the main show. You want to do it? No. Oh, okay. So Mr. Bootrum shared Steve Almas's print. We're waiting. Oh, this one's insane. Mm-hmm. 60 mm-hmm. hours. Hold on. Hold on. Cut Nobody can it. see it. It's coming in. What? It looks like lava. That's a nice. Is this from there. um? I think it is, is this from Lord of the Rings? It should. Because it it doesn't say. Let's do that reading thing that people were talking about. I know it's like about. way too much. It doesn't Printed say that, but no. But go to the top. It has that. Isn't oh, yeah. that the Eye of Mordor? That's the Eye of Mordor. Yeah, that's what I thought. It just didn't say that, um, so I wasn't sure. Glint gray by Filament One. They'll be at Murph. Uh, we got some Atomic Filament Ruby Red Pet G. Love me some Atomic. And it was done on a rail core. This is why everybody's all excited yeah, yeah, about yeah. the rail core with a mosquito, mosquito nozzle. Yeah. Printing. Yeah, Look at the detail. Because you're, 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 yeah, no, the, well, is, it is, could. Was there supports in there or is that lit- literal bridging on a bridge? I love that. It's so literal. But a, <laughs> a bridge bridge? <laughs> a bridge of a bridge. Uh, I love it. It's so literal. Yeah, the thing's nuts. So, did we have any another? Oh, oh, oh. oh time for another minute in your makerspace. Do it. Hello, community catch-up. This is my makerspace. Who is this? <laughs> As you can tell, it's a mess, but this? for good reason. Another mess. Monoprice Mini Delta. Currently having a few issues. Uh, I broke one of the connectors when I was trying to upgrade the bearings on it. That, hap- that happens. Ender 3 currently does not have a bed. Oh, it's like uh, your going printer to be fixing that very <laughs> soon. <laughs> Any Cubic i3 Mega, uh, mm-hmm. despite being not a very good printer, this is the only one that is currently fully functioning. <laughs> My other Ender 3 that I have heavily modified, uh, I'm Ender. working on the electronics on this one because neither of those fans are 24 volt fans. Okay. And my GTEC A10M, which does not have a motherboard because the motherboard was DOA. The other motherboard has yet to arrive on that one. Okay. That's my makerspace. Peace. Peace. Woo! Yo, dog. Very nice. <laughs> no, not yo, dog. Whatever happened to yo, dog? We need more from him. <laughs> who, who is yo, dog? He was the guy that made the freaking SLA printer out of the ornament. Brian Vines wanted me to play, pretty please stop making this noise. <laughs> <laughs> I was so sorry about that, Brian. <laughs> Brian I think it's, like it. it's because they said that's the same noise that comes on their phones when there's an Amber Alert. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> you put the Amber Alert sound on the screen deck. They're like, oops. <laughs> who's, who's missing? What's the license plate number? 
Uh, was that all the minute in our makerspaces? Get me a milk carton. Yeah, that was 3.30. Oh. Well, okay then. Uh, Chelsea says she has that many, but who has more broken printers than that? <sighs> like everybody. Sign us up. Uh, well, I thought there was one more. <laughs> oh, we watched all of them. We did? You want another was there one? three or four? He can play the There's sound three. again if you want. No, don't play the sound again. Nobody likes that at all. Oh. Nobody likes that at all. Um, oh. Oh. Not, not really. No. <laughs> it wasn't appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're done with the main show. That's it? Yeah, so now what do you want to talk about? Travis has one. Okay, so do, do yours is Tom's infill joke. Show it. Go to the... Do go. it. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. Get to the chopper. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a noob filled with noobs. Noob Phil. Yeah, this is good. Phil. This is one of the best things to come out of Filament Frenzy in a long time. What? Giant so what noob. happened? He had just like a giant... He had a bunch well, of them. He had, a bunch he had of the noob failed. army. You, yeah. you didn't see the noob army? I, well, I saw the catchy, the catchy army. army. Yeah. So he had the noob army, but they failed they like when they were almost well, yeah. there. And so he saved them <laughs> and, and put created them inside noob of them. <laughs> and you know what? That dovetails nicely. Into, into what? So can I jump into my share? Go ahead. Because it, uh, it really does. So this this is one of the things. I wouldn't say I've been up to. Uh -huh. You know the catchy cam? This, this here is by our very own. I'm going to go a little like this so we can see him a little bit better. Come on. Yeah, I'm, just, I'll go, I'm going manual. Uh, this is the Rep Raptor, designed by our very own uh, Carmelo Nazario. Uh, you may have known him as the creator XXX or something like that on the Twitters. XXX. What? The creator X. I think oh, I was like, X creator X triple X? Yeah, it's like that. But anyway, so the Rep Raptor, he uh, is responsible. i got to hold this camera steady here. This is crazy. Uh, he is responsible for your failed prints. He eats failed prints like yours for breakfast. And so I, I saw the noob army like that. And that's and what so you, you thought of? I did, because you print them out, right? And you pose them over your, and he, he holds like, you know, he holds a filament, you know, he, he just, he likes to poach over top. Look at him. It's kind of fancy when you He's look at him. Eat. So do you shove the filament through his mouth? Is that no, how you can. You can, you know, if like you the, want, if he's You know, it's like, then you go, when your print fails, you be like, the Rep Raptor has struck again. <laughs> he actually eats it. You, you don't he does. Have look at him. Uh, uh, yeah, you can put it in there. He's... He's smiling. He's got a little devilish. Everyone's grin. already asking when Amazing. you're gonna have it posted. Uh, this week. Okay. This week we're finalizing. Um, Carmelo, being the artist that he ever is, you know, has to get his his final touches done. Yeah, yeah. On it. So we, the one of the things was we, you know, we really wanted it to be um, support free. Support right? free. Yeah. So this was actually done with very very minimal support. He needed a little bit for you know the crotch and stuff, but. Uh, but we've we've his, retooled him a little bit. His raptor parts. His the raptor bits. is always a, a tough part oh, to no. do. It is. It oh. is. But uh, anyway, he's super cool. Um, I I love Carmelo for making this thing for me. Uh, he's uh, he's just an awesome ma mascot and he's interactive. I like it. Yeah. They're saying. What do you guys think? Chris do you guys said, like him? Chris says he works well as a zip tie holder. Also. He could totally hold your zip ties. Yeah. Yeah. You know whatever like you it. need. I like it. He's almost like fashionable. Look at him. He's like it's like uh, he's doing he's blue like, steel. Hey. Magnum. I from, like it. From Zoolander. He's doing Zoolander poses. <laughs> when you have it turned back like that, it does look a little like he's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah, well, we were, no, we're the best is on the side like yeah. that. Yeah. That's good. Like, he's pretty ferocious, man. He is pretty for Oh, I didn't see the R. When nice. He, yeah, okay, he's, he's branded like he's a dress. He's branded, I Jurassic see that. He's posed over some messed up prints. That would be awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll release him hopefully this week, and then people can start printing him and posing him over their failed prints. They said be glad he didn't have his Venom tongue in it incorporated. Venom tongue. Oh, yeah. crazy. That probably would have needed a lot of support. Yeah, probably. Um, oh, so now, Travis, do your other one. So there was the Tom Jackson <laughs> infill, and then your other one was your video that just came out today. Well, not your video, but... Yeah, so um, as you guys know, I'm always talking about these secret projects that I'm working on, and... Um, Today, one of them was released, and I'm going to actually wait till the ad goes away to show you guys. <laughs> um, as some of you guys know, I've worked with uh, Healthy Junk Food in the past, and um, one of the projects that they asked me to do was a giant Sour Patch Kid. Um, so they make lots of giant food. Yeah, they make lots of giant food. Giant food. <laughs> so um, I made I 3D, 3D modeled and uh, 3D printed this Sour Patch Kid, and they actually... Um, 
You didn't switch over. Oh, you did. You're good. You're good. Yeah, they, um. <laughs> but our cat. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, I love your cat. I know, Travis, I love yeah. your cat. So they made a mold, a mold out of it, and they made a giant Sour Patch Kid to eat. So, so and it's they, actually edible? Yeah. yeah. Can we get one? No. For our, for our candy did, tasting channel? Oh, oh, yeah, for our candy tasting channel. Yeah, so if you want to go check out that video, I posted that. it on my Twitter and it's, stuff. So. And they said it was really, really sour. <laughs> I believe it. Oh, and yeah, random sour, side right. note, apparently what? they have proven, or not proven, but they were testing that when you get Sour Patch Kids at the theater right. versus Sour Patch Kids from the grocery store, the ones from the theater taste better. They did blind taste tests with people on the street, and 100% of the they're time, different? they're different. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, think like it's a fresh, I think it's a freshness factor. I think it's a freshness factor, because the turnover is higher at the theater than maybe at the regular store for them. Anyway. I have a question. Is there any way I can send you something really quick that you can actually put up, or is it is that not, are you not connected? What do you mean put up? Well, I wanted to display a picture. Put, uh, can you have a link for can it? Can you just show yeah. it on the kitchen cam on your phone? I guess I could. It's if not... you have a link for it, you could just post it on the doc. But yeah, but he doesn't have the I doc. I don't know. It's in phone. an email. It's in an no. email. I'll post, maybe I'll show it on it. Yeah, I'll do that. That's fine. Carry okay. on. Carry on. Um, you were going to talk about Joel Max. Oh yeah. So um, I, I I teased it a little bit earlier when when Dan was on. Um, so the uh, good people over at G Create, we mm -hmm. know them as uh, Anna and Gordon. Uh, have sponsored the Traveling Joel Max project. This was, I believe this was Joel's original G Max. Joel mm -hmm. has another G Max now. Um, but it has been traveling around. And prior to coming to us, it was with Garrett and Chelsea, and they did a bunch of cool stuff with it. And unfortunately, some unnamed carrier did, did a little bit of damage to it when it um, arrived here. And so uh, I've been rebuilding it. Uh, and it's it's running uh, again, but it's a little bit sporadic. Mm -hmm. The the umbilical that feeds the the main you know hot end and and the BL touch and all this other stuff apparently at some point was like pinched and so oh, like there's just compromised wires. Up. Some were severed. Like the signal wire for the BL touch was fried. Um, so anyway, I, I'm rewiring it, and so I I got in touch with um, G Create and uh with joel and we talked about it and i said like if i'm gonna rewire this thing and stuff i'd be really intrigued what it'd be like to throw a mosquito on this thing and they're like go for it mm -hmm. so we're doing that um hopefully it's gonna get a, a couple other upgrades too maybe a heated bed maybe some some build tech you know you never know so maybe like a little flex plate mm, so we're work, working working some angles there but um uh we're gonna bring some new some new life to the traveling joel max nice and hopefully just make it that much better for uh whoever has it next nice yeah and then you also shared uh, quite a few people actually shared this but you shared one of them you said you were going to print it this pen holder. Oh, dude, this pen holder. Everybody is bananas. The, heli the helical. I think Keegan gear. was just in our. I don't know if Keegan's still here, but I think, I think they were here in the chat earlier. <clears throat> Isn't this ridiculous? It's an awesome model. Um, I, so I, I didn't I... notice though because I, I downloaded it, but I didn't open it up yet. Is it bearing driven or is it like actually floating on just filament? It seems like it's spinning way too good to be just like filament. I, it, on I filament. bet it's bearing. Yeah. But uh, Joel was saying he he thinks it would look awesome in a um, high five blue and a Tom orange. What is it? What tangerine? Tom's tangerine orange? Something. I think that'd be a good combo. Mm, I, I said, would do that. I've had both. I of those. said boss pink and purple haze. I have both of those as well. I know. I think that's a good one. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do both. Okay. And then we'll do a little side by side, and we'll see. And people, the people can voice their opinion. Oh, he said bearings. Yeah, it's most certainly bearings. Yeah, Are they six oh eight? Six oh eight bearings. Okay, we have, have those. I have a few of those. <laughs> a couple. A couple thousand, I'm probably. Six oh eight. All right. So then, mine. I wanted to post or talk about. Can you show the link? So this was the Boss Pink Fox that was printed, and we were talking about earlier about printing at a hotter temperature. Yeah. To change the color. So this is the Boss Pink, but this was printed at way hotter to make the shine on it much, much. That filament more. loves it hot. Baby. I know it does. And then. I have put the link in there too. So don't forget this month through, Amy's doing her promo through February, right? Yes. So any any purchase of the Boss Pink or Purple Haze or Rep Red or the three pack, the Don't Call Me Girly three pack, um, will donate 10% from Repcord to the Girls Who Code. Yep. 
uh, charity, and then Amy will be doing ten dollars per spool to yeah. her. Uh, so what is it? It's the um, the Women in Tech uh, Scholarship. Scholarship, that's right. That's that right. The National Video Game Museum is putting on. Yes. So like literally like half of the, the money, money is going is going to charity, to charity yeah. on um, on your purchase, and it's awesome filament. Yeah, so we're right. thankful for all of you guys who've, um, yeah, who've have bought some bought so some. far, who've sent us your awesome prints, keep sending us your awesome prints. Um, hopefully, if you know this is going as well as it does, yeah, we can kind of keep good. keep going with our create for a cause yeah. uh, thing for our next bundle that we're going to release. Love and it. it's uh, it's been awesome. So thank you guys for helping helping us um, getting a little making done and helping others in the process. Yeah, and then I wanted to talk about so. We put out on the catchy the 3D Pink Mafia Fedora Design Challenge. Yeah, Design Challenge. This is the CK Design Challenge, and this was to now to design a wearable fedora that Pooch can print on the G Max to take to Murph to then have people take pictures in it, right? Yep. Plus then, is it the winning design wins the filament or are you gonna draw from the people that take pictures in it? Probably the uh, winning it's design. It's the designer. Okay, the designer it's will It's the designer, win. but depending on how many of these, we've, I can't believe we already have a submission. We have, we just, okay. I mean, we kind of teased, teased it yesterday, it. Yeah. but we're announcing it today. So click on the click on the one that Will bought. The, no, the next one down. No, the, just the is second two, link. Okay. So this is the actual fedora that Wellbot designed. That he, is a legit fedora I right know. there. Now how printable that is, you I know, it's gonna need sure. a little bit of work. But yes. uh, you know, we want you guys to come up with your design. You can make it in Tinkercad, you can make it in Fusion 360, you can make it in Blender, whatever you have, uh, and, and put your own little piece of flair on it. And we'll pick one and we'll print it full size on the G Max. Yeah. In Boss Pink. Yep. And I'll bring it to me, uh, bring it to Murph with me, and um, if you want to get a picture in it, you can, and that way you can help uh, Heather be excited, even though she can't be there. Yes. We can see a little bit of the mafia uh, there for us. Yay! And then we, I put the link in the in the doc um, as well for the file if you want to download it and print your own. Awesome. All right. So then we just have, oh, I just have a couple other ones really quick in our want to know more. Um, the main one is the one, the Frenzy Bricks. So I didn't, I haven't seen this. Have you guys seen this? Is this a thing? So so is this for Tom, Tom's walls at, in his makerspace? I've seen several of these bricks that people are designing. And this was one that Das Mia did. <laughs> Bruce the Lover. But I don't know, is it, I don't know, what, I don't know if he's doing something with You should with send these? that to Design Prototype Test. He'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh, oh, and Terry's talking about the the tape spool holder. I actually had that down in the practical print, which thank you to everyone who submitted a practical print. We hadn't had any um, in a few weeks, and we um, got quite a few this fortnight. Mm -hmm. And one of them was if you click on the first one, Dosmia shared the tape dispenser under practical prints. Keep going down. We got so much stuff I know, we got week. so many links. This one. Did you guys see this one? Yes. So this is the tape holder. So no. this is what Terry's mentioning in the comments. He's saying, asking if anyone printed it. This is super cool. We need to print this 100% for sure. <laughs> yeah, this is what I got in the bearing discussion with Terry. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, so check out, make Another sure you guys check out bearings. the... Uh, the Doc, there's quite a few in the shout outs. Want to know more practical prints in the news? We had we're using a new system to gain the tags, and so we're Automation, not baby. we're not missing any yeah, now. And yeah. so we are getting way more. I was must have been missing a ton before when I was just searching through utilizing just Twitter. Um, so this is awesome because mm -hmm. we're getting so much good stuff, but it's definitely not enough or way too much for us to talk about all in one show. Yeah, and but, but what's also really cool is it, one, it gives us a metric of like seeing how much stuff we're getting, and two, yeah. it gives us a cool sense of um, how many things are being tagged by multiple people, so it kind of helps yeah. us um, rank things that, that a lot of people are, you know, interested in. Interested mm -hmm. in. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and they are saying that that Tom said he would put, I guess he has faux brick in his cheap plastic faux brick behind his printers. And so he's gonna be printing these bricks, those bricks and replacing them. I didn't know that. That's awesome. So we'll have to find out more about that. 
And then, yeah, so make sure you guys check out the doc in the description to see all that good stuff. Um, the other good thing about our new tagging system is that we have so many entries. <laughs> so we can actually t make sure more. we can add so more adequately than, tag. Than Brandon Langdon <laughs> yes, and we can add it adequately Farm are gonna win. <laughs> gather all the tags um, that people have been sending. So this fortnight, our filaments.ca sponsorship, they are going to be sending the lucky winner a spool of the matte black filament. Matte black, so hot right now. I know, so hot. Okay. Turn it hot. Wait, I gotta find it. Wait, yes, I have to find it. There Wait. it is. Okay. What are we showing? Are we switching to the catchy cam? Are you showing the names? Wait, are we are we done? Can I do one more shout out before we do this? Yes, go ahead. Just a really quick one because I I promised our good friend Cyber Dustin went to some serious trouble and I completely forgot to hey. actually uh, tag this. So I'm gonna go really He's quick go on here. Cam. I'm gonna just show it on the catchy cam. Oh, you're showing. So our look at these shots that just Dustin oh! did. Like I got professional studio photography done of oh. our new boss pink and the purple haze so he picked nice. some pretty cool models there was a catchy right here and the rip red yeah so these will actually be the um product photos on the on the website when these go up shortly nice. so thank you so much to to uh cyber dustin for yeah, doing that and there's a, there they all, all I'm just together looking at them through the catchy uh, i no, know it's not it's <laughs> not the best but uh you get the idea so well anyway. you'll have to tweet them i will i promise i will i didn't uh because I wanted to, I wanted to show them off here, and then I completely forgot. Don't read my email, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show our dirty space. <laughs> our space over here is terrible. Okay. Switch your. Oh, okay, are you we're ready? Doing that again. All right, let's get some winners here, people. Okay. So we've got. Oh, <clears throat> dear, showing the, net, the dirty space again. Okay, so here's all the people that people you can't see read. How the sausage is made. Look at how many there is. Woo! There's Just so me. many. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? There it goes. Sean and I see 3D. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 are other filament manufacturers over the wind? I mean, he tagged. Technically, he it's did. Technically, it's and different filament. You know what? He was a maker long before he worked for He was. For he was. Too. He so. might want to try other filament out. Uh, he might. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the cat's meow. Hey, you know what? The okay. Fair's fair. Are you going off the catchy cam? Okay, That's fair. there we it's go. It's random. All right. So Congrats, Sean. And Sean. thank you again to <laughs> Filament CA for sponsoring. Yes, you thank you. You get to you. try some matte black there. That'll be cool. That's going to be exciting. Hopefully you don't get any failed prints. Rip Raptor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to print him big, too. For big failed prints. Yay. Can you just see him, like, stomping all over Noob Army? <laughs> <laughs> you would love that. I would. What I do you got against Noob? That. It's, it you want to stomp on you his army? stomp on anybody's army, really. Okay, okay. It's the Rep Raptor. <laughs> awesome. All right. So make sure you guys check out the uh, doc. If you want to send us anything, our address is in the description. We accept all candy for our new candy channel that's candy coming channel. out. Yep. It's going to be um, hot. <laughs> what are we going to call it? <laughs> Ketchup candy? I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll come up with something. We'll call it something. This was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, it was a good was. show. Um, special thanks go out to, obviously, Slice Engineering. Dan, thank you for being on the show. Yes, it was thank awesome. You. Thank you for telling us about the mosquito. Thank you so much to Filament CA for sponsoring the Heck show Heck yes. Today. Thank you so much. And, of course, thank you to all of you awesome people who have sent us all your amazing tags and given us the content. Thanks for all the new people that, that came. You. Hopefully, you'll come next fortnight. Yeah. And Join us again in a fortnight. Do you want to know? Who, yeah. Do you want to know who's sponsoring next fortnight? Yeah, I do. Okay, let me tell you what date it is first. That's going to be sixth. March sixth. Yeah. And our sponsor is going to be Captoos. Ooh, Captoos. Capricorn. Woo woo. Yeah. Are you a Capricorn? No, I'm a Virgo. Oh. And they have a yeah. an in Pisces baby. Insane insane prize packages that they are giving away yeah, yeah. it's pretty nuts Some good stuff i'm yeah. excited to see uh so i met boz at i think i'm saying that baz boz boz at um murph last year mm -hmm. we'll see him yeah coming up super and, nice uh, no awesome awesome people over there uh i'm a convert because a lot of people know that i was like a cap tube skeptic at first before I, and then i tried it and it was awesome so anyway very nice so uh 
awesome sponsorship. Uh, tune in for that next yeah. time. Yeah. Woo. Thanks for catching Good up show, with everybody. us, guys. Thanks for catching up with us. We'll check in a fortnight. And we're going to go out with... Um, Don't this. call me girly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. It never gets old. It doesn't. <laughs> it's like it's like getting rickrolled. You gotta see the ends of like the ends of the part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the glance. That's the stuff. That That's is the, the stuff. stuff. Woo! <laughs> Later, everyone. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>